one of the neatest things about Life Vantage, in my opinion, you guys, is the friendships you make. We had the opportunity to travel in an RV for 18 months and to go to our friends' homes and be welcomed in. And it was just so cool, the friendships you get to make and stuff. And one of those friends that I have made is um, Pro 6, Brenda Gary. She is a former corporate executive turned entrepreneur and motivational speaker. After two decades as a successful human resources vice president in a Fortune 500 company, her world was turned upside down when she developed a number of autoimmune diseases and was subs uh, subsequently, ash. hey, be quiet, boys. I'm real life, guys. I have two little boys running around. We've got to go pick up kids in a bit. This is me. Uh, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. As a result of overcoming her health challenges, Brenda is now passionate about sharing her story of recovery and educating and inspiring others how to achieve and maintain optimal wellness by leveraging nutrigenomics and how to build life advantage to create a passive income. So Brenda is an author, a, a motivational speaker, you guys, and just one of the n nicest, neatest people you'll ever meet. Her and her husband, Randy, are just, I know, two of my absolute favorite people. I went, um, gosh, was it last year? I went to GoPro and I didn't know anybody that was going. I got a ticket at the very last minute and Randy and Brenda invited me to sit by them and go hang out with them. And it was just so delightful for the friendships we've made. So Brenda, wait, oh, can you unmute and share your story? Sure. Thank you. I'm so excited. Thank you. Number one, I'm honored. I'm honored to um, you've, you've got an amazing team here. I respect you all so very, very much. And I'm honored that you would allow me to come and uh, speak with your team. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you know, um, my story is um, like just, it's just so huge. So, you know, so many different pieces. But my background, like Vandy had shared, um, my background was corporate America. So I'm one of five kids, um, was born in Puerto Rico. My dad was at uh, my dad was in the Air Force, so I'm an Air Force brat, and we moved around a lot. Um, he retired in central Illinois, and then um, I decided to go to, my passion is helping people. I was, how many of you guys here are McDonald's statistics? My very first job was McDonald's, and at McDonald's, I learned the value of customer service and helping people, and that, I think, was the seed for my passion for helping people. And it's what made me passionate about human resources, wanting to help people grow, being a business partner. And so my degrees are in speech communication and in human resources. So I had a very successful career in human resources, Fortune 500 company. I was uh, on a fast track. Um, I've done, you know, um, I'm one of those kids that when I was growing up, you know, my family never ever told me go to college. It was never a conversation. But because of the people that I hung out with, I had a vision for myself of going to college. So I went to college, got my degree, um, and really super successful career in corporate human resources. Um, I was, I, I have one son from a prior marriage, um, but uh, that first marriage didn't last long. So I was actually a single mom from the time that my son was age two. So I, had, I was very, very motivated to work hard to support myself and my son. Well, at the height of my career, I got really, really sick, life-changing sick. Uh, it was at the height of my career in 2004. And, you know, when, when you're on a path and all of a sudden you're brought to your knees, I literally was brought to my knees because of my health issues. And I'm going to keep it compliant here. Okay? But what getting sick for me meant is that I completely lost who I was. Um, I developed a number of autoimmune issues that significantly impacted me. I had chronic pain, I had chronic itching every day, like literally I never stopped itching you guys from, 2000 and, um, from 2004 to 2011, I never stopped itching. And I had never stopped having chronic pain. And then I had cognitive dysfunction because some of the issues that I had affected my mental focus and clarity. So I remember a time where everything that I said 
the minute it was out of my mouth, I would forget it, literally. And I would turn to my husband and I would say, what did I just say? It was like he was my parrot. Well, you could imagine that with those health issues, um, here I was a vice president and I actually ended up taking, I had to take, I was forced to take a medical retirement from my job because I couldn't do my job. I couldn't think, I couldn't remember conversations. Um, and that was devastating for me personally because I took it as a failure. Why did I get sick? Why couldn't I show up for my employees? Um, it, it, I felt like I lost myself. I literally felt like I lost myself. And so from January 2011 to August of 2011, all I did was go to doctor's appointments. I literally had three to four doctor's appointments. I went to a number of specialists, always with the idea of what can I do to get better. At my sickest, I was on 24 prescription medications and I was in bed 20 hours a day. In bed 20 hours a day. And I couldn't move my body but my brain was busy and I was beating myself up because I wanted to have purpose in my life, but I couldn't, we couldn't, my husband and I, we couldn't even make plans to do activities because if we tried to make plans to do something, then right, sometimes right as we were heading out the door, I would get flooded by some of my issues and I would have to tell him, babe, I just hit the wall. And um, I could, even though he was understanding, I could see the disappointment in his eyes. So I was praying for a solution. I literally was praying for something. And I remember like every single day that I was not feeling well, there were just different symptoms. Every day was a different hodgepodge of symptoms that just kept piling on each other. So my prayer was this. I just was praying that, that there would be something that would come into my life that would help mitigate the symptoms. That if something could be lessened just a little bit, just to make it a little bit more bearable. And that prayer was answered in August of 2011 when my husband, who was at a restaurant, met a 24-year-old young man, uh, Ryan Jackson, who I will forever love he's my earth angel i call him my earth angel and randy was at a restaurant there was one seat open you guys i really believe it was providence i was it was meant to be there was one seat open and ryan asked to sit with my husband and they got to talking and my husband's a retired police officer um and they got to talking and ryan toward the end of that conversation ryan had found out that randy had a sick wife at home and so Ryan was bold enough, you guys. Ryan was brave enough to ask a simple question of Randy before they ended their conversation. He said, I have something that I think could possibly help your wife if you're open, open to taking a look at an ABC primetime investigative report that features the product that I rep for. I am so, so grateful that Randy said yes. Ryan wrote the link to the ABC primetime on a napkin, stuffed in his pocket, and when he got home, he watched the ABC primetime. He watched it twice. He then got me out of bed, literally dragged me out of bed, and I watched the ABC primetime, and when I watched it, it resonated with me, and I said to myself, what if this could help me? I said to myself, I've got nothing to lose and everything, everything to gain if this is the thing, right? Because I had spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, you guys, on treatments, on prescription drugs, on I paid $15,000 out of pocket to go to Mexico um, for two and a half weeks as an inpatient, as a possible solution. I was at one point spending $400 a week on IV infusions. None of that helped. None of it helped. And then all of a sudden, I watched that ABC primetime and I said yes. And we ordered the product that night, you guys, just with the hope that lowering oxidative stress would help my body. And so fast forward, you know, just uh, um, I got my life back. Um, 
I'm thriving. My life looks so different. My health looks so different. But you know, you know, sometimes um, my my story doesn't end there though, because literally, like I was started to take our our flagship product, and then in November of 2011, just you know, four months after I'd started ProTandem, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and so it was like, are you kidding me, right? All of these health issues. I start to get better. I'm thriving. My husband and I, we said yes to the business right away. Um, and then all of a sudden I get diagnosed with breast cancer. And I really believe that it was just another part of my journey. And I really believe that it was, for me, I basically said, I guess God just has a bigger story for me to tell. God just has a bigger purpose for me. And so I went through treatment. And so now here we are, you know, um, March of 2021, um, I will, I'm 10 years out of, you know, in remission. Um, I'm off of all those drugs I was on. I'm thriving, you guys. And so the blessing of what we have to offer from a health perspective whatever that looks like for people is amazing. Um, the business, I'm passionate about the business, you guys. Sometimes people will say, well, what's, what's more important to you? Both pieces are, both pieces are, because I know what it feels like to be on the health side and have lost my health. And then I know what it feels like from the business side to number one, it wasn't my choice to leave. My husband and I, we were not financially set for me to not have that income because I was the primary breadwinner in our family. So that was a huge hit. So for me, building our life managed business is our plan A. It's not our plan B. It's our plan A, right? And I'm also passionate about teaching people how to build a life managed business because when the economy crashed in 2008, 2009, similar to what we're experiencing now, right? I literally flew around the world, you guys, and I was laying off, I laid off 60% of my employee population. I flew to Korea, I flew to Japan, I flew to Hong Kong, I flew to Singapore. Most of my employees were in Asia and I laid off 60% of my population. It was devastating. I had grown men and women crying and I didn't have a solution for them. So what I tell people now, so what that experience taught me similar to what's happening now, is from a business perspective, when companies are in a financial crisis, the easiest, one of the easiest things to do is to let people go. That's an easy way to lower your cost, right? So what I tell people when we're speaking to folks is whatever job you have, whatever you're doing, whether you're an employee or whether you're an entrepreneur, do what you love to do what you're doing because you either love it or because it pays the bills. However, you want to build a passive residual income for the what if factor. And that what if factor looks different for different people. So what if it's a health challenge like it was for me? What if it's not your health your personal health challenge, but what if it's the health challenge of someone that you love? Being able to be off work without having to worry about an income, being able to travel where you need to go. Um, what if it's, you know, maybe like it's a, a situation where there's two, where you're financially stable, but you have no time to be with your children. Like I mentioned earlier, you guys, I was a single mom. I was working 60, 70 hours in corporate America. My son grew up a latchkey child. And, it, and he was a latchkey child because that was the only option we had. I, I did what I did and I had to do because that was my only option. I wasn't receiving child support, none of that, right? But I do have regret that I missed out on so much of, you know, so much time apart, business trips, working long hours. Um, we, we created a village to support him when I wasn't there. Do you have huge regrets over the fact that I wasn't there? So again, you know, um, 
being able to build that passive residual income is really important. And I really believe you guys that we are with the best company um, to be able to do that. Yes, there's ups and downs with this business, especially if you've never been an entrepreneur before. Um, it, it is a total mindset game. It is all about mindset and being and having your why be in front of you so that it doesn't matter the nose, um, you're, you're resolute in what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And there's just no giving up, right? Don't ever compare yourself to somebody else's journey. I like to say, stay in your lane, stay focused. My husband and I, are we where we had hoped we would be by now? The answer is no, I'll be honest. And that has been frustrating at times. But we also know that we're absolutely in the right place. There's no giving up. We've had to hit the reset button several times in our. Um, we've had to hit the reset button several times in our business, <clears throat> and we're okay with that. We're absolutely okay with hitting the reset button. But what we're not okay with is looking at each other and saying that we give up because there's no giving up. This is just the plan A. So I hope that my story has been helpful. Um, and uh, the biggest, the other thing I'll finally say just as I'm finishing up, uh, unless Vandy has another question for me, is I just want to really want to encourage all of you to sign up for Lead Academy. My husband and I have never missed an event. Even when I was going through chemo, even when I was at my sickest, never missed an event. We kept showing up uh, because we needed to keep close to the fire. We needed to stay engaged. Going to Life Vantage events fuels us. And I know, you know, I've had some conversations with some of our teammates. They really, really are missing the in-person events. I am as well, our team is as well, but you guys, $89 at this point, right? If you haven't signed up yet, you're going to be fed. We have a new CEO. So to plug in on Saturday and to really focus and to really recommit and to use this opportunity on Saturday to hit the reset button is powerful. To be able to hear from our leaders, to be able to hear from our keynote speakers, Lisa Nichols, she's actually a coach of mine. She's incredible. I love her to pieces in her heart. And then to hear from Frazier, that's going to be incredible. So I just really, if you're not signed up yet, it's not too late. Invest in yourself. If you feel like you've been in a little bit of a slump, use this Elite Academy on Saturday to hit the reset button and to fuel your passion and to and to reconnect with why you said yes to life manage. Vandy, I hope this has been helpful. Any questions? Oh, that was exactly, I don't know, you nailed it all. You shared your story, you shared your heart. And, you know, and really, you guys, I'm just going to second what Brenda said. Some of us leaders, some of you guys have seen the shares from Frazier this week, life Vantage has been sharing out. And your pro six and above have all got to, we just spent the last two and a half hours. In fact, we got off this call, off the call, you guys, to be on here today. We bumped this call 30 minutes thinking, ah, oh, they might go a little bit over and they were still going. But you guys, we have the most amazing leaders in this industry. We have, and this Elite Academy is going to blow your mind. 